calculate the speed of the object's motion shown in this distance time graph and hint use the gradient. So first thing to note this is a distance time graph and so if we have a straight line we can find the, the speed by calculating the gradient of this line. So start at a, an easy place to start so that's probably zero zero. Imagine there's a little little character here who's going to go on a uh, on a journey but they have to go along and then up to get back to the line. And we're going to draw a nice big triangle underneath this line. So we'll go along the the axis first and we'll stop at 10 and so this is called the run. The horizontal is called the run and that in this case is from 0 to 10 which is 10 seconds. Now our little man has to climb up a rope in order to meet the line again back up here. And so that distance is called the rise. And that goes from 0 to 50. So our rise is equal to 50 meters. How do we find the gradient? Well the gradient is calculated by dividing the rise by the run. Remember, oops, the run, <laughs> the run. Remember that the, the rise rises to the top of this division. Put the numbers in, the rise is 50 meters. The run is 10 seconds. I'll just put the units in here so you can just see that what we're making is meters per second, hence speed or velocity. So that then gives us 5 meters per second. And so that's how you calculate the gradient and how we find the speed from a distance time graph. If this line was not straight but still ended up here, for example, if it looked a bit like this, we could still do this calculation, but we would be finding the average speed because at some points it will be going faster than at other points but the average speed would work out to be exactly the same. But this is just for a straight line to keep things simple.